Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sunny encircled Ava in the hospital chapel, and the two of them hugged tightly. Olivia joyfully interrupted to announce that Dandy had recovered from his operation. Olivia gave Sunny a cozy hug. Sunny and Olivia unlocked the chapel door for Nina as they were about to depart. Sunny said nothing as he walked past Nina. Nina asked Olivia to give Dante her very best. When Sam revealed that Dante was no longer undergoing surgery, Alexis and Christina, who were also at the hospital, were relieved. A little while later, a nurse announced that Dante was welcome to guests outside of his room. It was Sunny and Olivia who entered Dante's room first. Sunny put his hand on Dante's forehead as he was breathing through a ventilator, and Olivia followed suit a short while after. Christina trailed behind Olivia and Sunny. She informed Dante that in an attempt to cheer him on, she had recently found herself supporting the Boston Red Sox versus the New York Yankees during spring training. Sam trailed after Christina, and she silently grasped Don's hand. Sam then greeted Sunny outside Don's chamber. They gave each other a hug. Sunny peered in through the window of Dante's room as Sam retreated inside. Alexis was concerned by the hospital elevators that Diane had been avoiding her since Diane declined to defend Finn in a malpractice lawsuit. Disappointed that she couldn't represent Finn, Alexis expressed her disappointment. The topic of the invader came up. Journalism would suffer a devastating loss if Nina were to take over as editor of the newspaper, according to Alexis. Diane barely refrained from referring to Nina as a bitch. Diane discovered Sonny close to the nurse's station a little while later. He declared his desire to track down the shooter of Dante. Ava told Nina about the warehouse raid while they were back in the hospital chapel. Nina expressed her relief at Ava's well-being and claimed she was unsure of what to do in the event that Ava were to disappear. Nina affirmed her love for Sonny and shared her concern that, as a result of Sonny's assassination attempts, she would lose both Sonny and Ava. When Ava denied knowing who was behind the shooting, Nina charged that Ava knew more than she was letting on, and Ava acknowledged that she felt left out. Nina stated that she wanted to stand by Sonny, pointing out that he was still her husband. Nina begged Ava to tell her what was happening. Nina said, Why won't you help me with my husband? Nina asked Ava whether they were friends, pointing out that the two of them had been through a lot together. No friend had ever shown Ava as much generosity and loyalty as Nina did, according to Ava. Ava's remarks touched Nina and she requested for Ava's assistance with Sunny once more. After giving it some thought, Ava advised Nina not to sign the divorce papers. Ava promised to create a strategy to assist Nina in preserving her marriage. Nina was concerned that Sunny's affections for her would wane the more time they spend apart. Or worse, he's going to decide to move on with someone else, Nina replied. Ava had a flashback of her and Sunny cuddling up in the church. Well, we just can't let that happen, Ava remarked, and then she and Nina started giggling. Ava hugged Nina, a painful expression on her face. Gathered at the Quartermain Estate Gatehouse were Dex, Jocelyn, Michael, and Willow. Everyone was curious as to who had shot Dante. According to Jocelyn, she couldn't think of Don passing away. It was Sunny, she claimed, who had shot Dante. When Jocelyn and Dex discovered Don shot earlier, she began to cry since she wasn't sure whether she had done the right thing to help him. Willow and Jocelyn soon made their way upstairs. When Dex and Michael were alone later, he stated that he had to act in Jocelyn's best interests. Dex went on to say he was planning to depart poor Charles. When John showed Anna the surveillance photo of Jason that had been taken at the warehouse earlier that evening, her eyes grew wide back at the hospital. It was impossible, according to Anna, for Jason to ever strive towards Sonny's aim. Anna mentioned she had a thought when John inquired about where Jason would go after getting shot. Carly was taken aback at her mansion when she heard a well-known voice emerge from the shadows. Before Jason came out of the shadows and into the sunshine, 
the voice questioned, Carly. Carly let out a scream and cried as she rushed into Jason's embrace. Carly said, you came back, while crying. Holding Carly, Jason apologized for the delay. Jason's abdomen was gushing blood, as Carly saw. Explaining that the bullet had passed right through, Jason asked Carly for a bandage and assured her he would be back. Jason sat down gingerly on the couch and moaned in discomfort. After a little while, Carly came back with a first aid kit to treat an abdominal gunshot wound. Jason found out that Bobby had passed away when Carly expressed her wish to call Bobby. A knock on the door was heard by Jason and Carly. Cops, open the door. Anna called out from the door. Jason hid out of sight as Carly unlocked the door moments later to let Anna and John in. Jason was still alive and informed Carly. When Anna and John gave any insinuation that Jason was still alive, Carly became enraged. John showed the picture of Jason taken by Spinelli's cameras at the warehouse. Carly appeared surprised. Anna requested permission to search the mansion with John. Carly angrily declared that John and Anna could not search her house. When John revealed that he and Anna had a warrant, Carly was taken aback. Editors have independently selected all of the goods and services that are listed. On the other hand, Soaps.com might get paid a commission for orders made through its retail links, and the retailer might get some data that can be audited for bookkeeping purposes. Sonny from General Hospital has been living in constant danger in Port Charles for years, and appears that Morris Bernard may be planning a new career. Bernard attempted to mimic his adorable granddaughter Titi's dance routines in a video that the ABC soap opera veteran had shared, even adding a few of his own. By watching TT and learning, I am actually turning into an amazing ballad dancer, Bernard said. Are you not in agreement? It was so cute that fans couldn't stop smiling at the video. They found it to be quite endearing. Even though we already know Bernard won't give up acting to pursue a career in dancing, we still think his fans would support him if he did. He did, after all, have author on his resume. Fans of the actor have probably seen more adorable videos of him with T.T., and one of the most recent ones had T.T. giving her explanation for, well, you'll have to watch it to the end to see it all. Bernard said, listen, all you'd have to do if you do something you're not supposed to do is make up stories that nobody understands. And it all makes sense if you're cute enough. T.T. is incredible. Poor Charles still lacks something or more specifically, someone, Obrecht, despite the recent drama on General Hospital being non-existent. Fans will be in for a treat when the ABC soap actress appears elsewhere. We don't get to see the character as much as we'd like. We'll be sure to keep an eye out for additional information soon after Kathleen Gaddy teased us on social media. Gaddy posted a picture of herself grinning behind some black shades along with the caption, just a little hint to say, I've been quiet because I am busy acting in a beautiful movie. At this time, more cannot be said. The NDAs have a lot of power. However, I'm sending you all my love. For those who do not know, an NDA is an acronym for a non-disclosure agreement, which is a private contract that is signed by all parties engaged in a project. In this example, a movie to protect any and all project-related information. Fans expressed their excitement to see Gaddy in something new, while also expressing how much they miss her throughout the day. Debbie Harmon said, Miss you so much on GH'd. However, you should be acting in all the fantastic films you desire because of your talent. You're an amazing actress, and GH really squandered your potential. Congrats. I'm eager to hear more. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.